How y'all doing? Now y'all ain't doing that good. How y'all doing? We're at a crossroads right now. And uh, I hope we never ever forget this period of time that we've gone through. You know, we should never forget the type of assault that we've had to deal with over the past 10, 12 years. The assaults from the Bill O'Reilly's of the world, the assaults from the Rush Limbaugh's, the assaults from the Fox News's and the Clear Channels of the world, the type of deliberate assaults that came from corporations that at one point in time had many of us feel like we were isolated and going crazy. You know, I remember very clearly after 9-11, you know, thinking to myself, something ain't right. And then you turn around and to the things that are supposed to be constants in your life, all of a sudden they're making it feel like, well, maybe you're not patriotic or maybe you're, you don't love America or, or maybe you need to get out and leave and maybe you're a traitor to the country. You remember those days? We should never ever forget that. There were so many people that put it down on a political tip that had their ideology, had their reputation severely undermined and in many ways permanently damaged. I remember being out on the road with Dennis Kucinich when we were in Boston, and he uh, did this debate. And you know, one of the guys from CNN was like, I just don't like you, so I'm not gonna put you on the air. Just like that, and there was nothing that you could do at that time. So now, a lot of us got tired of being tired, to quote Fannie Lou Hamer. We just got tired of all the nonsense. And many of us stepped it up to the plate, and many of us are making those changes. And so the first thing that I would encourage everybody to do is celebrate the victories that we have because there have been a lot of them. Many of us have started our own radio stations. Many of us have put out the blogs. Many of us had filled the void that corporate media took away from us by building and reconnecting and resurrecting community once again. So that is something that we need to celebrate. Give you all a, a big round of applause for just doing that. But since we're at that crossroad, one of the things that we want to make sure we do is one, don't make the mistake of looking at these victories, like, you know, the Congress is going to change and maybe Dennis will be a chairman and those types of things and feel like there's no more work to be done. Now more than ever, we got to put our shoulder to the grind and we got to take it to the next level so that those dark days that I described never ever come back again. That means that one, we should be asking ourselves, how can we champion the efforts of those who we admire, who went through and drug us through the storms that we endured? We should be asking ourselves, how can we make so-and-so's radio show that was that one beacon and that one glimmer of hope that we had in those dark days, how can we make that be something that's 24-7? How can we take that to the next level? How can we have our own Fox News network, our own CNN, and, 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 and one that will never ever get seduced by power, that will never ever give in to the seduction of the glitz and glamour that this industry often falls upon, often uh, uh, brings people in, so that they stop looking as they stop looking at our own interests and they start serving the interests of those corporations. We got to make sure that we never do that. The second thing is we should be making sure that we preach beyond the choir. It's great that we have 3,000 people here, but there's a, there's a few hundred million people in this country, so we got to make sure that a year from now, that whether it's a democracy now or hard knock radio or it's some of the blogs that you might read on Ariana Huffington's piece or whatever, we gotta make sure that those are front and center institutions that people go to. You feel what I'm saying? So that's something that all of us have a responsibility to do. The last thing I wanna say is we can't fall into the trap of telling people that the media misaligns us and distorts us and undermines our perspective, and then at the same time we listen to those same media outlets and then come away with false perceptions about many of us in this room. Many of us who are people of color, many of us who are part of the hip hop generation, many of us who look at us and view us through the lenses of that very same media that has assaulted you. I'm just here to make sure that we understand that many of the people in my, in my generation 
have not only had substantial victories, but they've actually changed the landscape. Whether it's the people like All Hip Hop that set up their website, they get 10 million hits a month. You hear what I'm saying? 10 million hits a month. That's more than most newspapers. That's more than many of us in that audience. That's a victory. We got people who started their own radio stations with no help, no funding, no money. People like Jared Ball from Free Mix Radio, People like my man JR from The Block Report, Breakdown FM, these were efforts. We didn't go to no Ford Foundation and get no money. This was folks that were just tired of the nonsense and we put our shoulder to the grind and we made something pop. <laughs> Shout out to people like Industry Ears who sat there and had those meetings and remember, last year when I talked, I talked about that payola thing before anybody else was doing that. That was because of people like Lisa Fager and Paul Porter, folks from industry years, that's hip hop. That was seeing firsthand how those things were harming us. We brought those issues to the table, people followed up, but those are victories that we gotta celebrate and that came from a camp that oftentimes people don't give uh, credit to or acknowledge. You know, we have to give a shout out to people from the REACH Coalition. Remember when the Tsunami song came out there and Hot 97 was doing their thing, being on the air calling people gooks and pimps and niggas and hoes and all that stuff? Those were young people, hip hop people that were just tired of, just tired of being assaulted. That took it to the next, le took it to the next level and made people bow down. Now all of us together, we can look at these victories we can celebrate them, but I'll just close by saying there's a whole lot of work to be done. A lot of work to be done so that we can first of all have these institutions that will forever support our interest and support our kids' interest. We have to make sure that we do the work that, um, that will, well gosh, I lost my train of thought for a second, so I'm gonna tell you what. I wanna thank you all for hearing me out. You know, I feel passionate about this and I just want to make sure that you all feel the same type of passion. Don't make media reform and media justice be an issue du jour. Don't show up because it's the sexy thing to be involved in because this is something that can really change lives for the better or for the worse. For the past 12 years, media strategy being used against people who are progressive, people of color, we really took an ass kicking. We really got our ass kicked. So don't take, this serious, don't take this issue lightly. This is serious business. I'll leave you with that. Thank you very much. Peace, everybody.